Good day. Welcome to another exciting edition of Enquist Review Hub. I'm Hermes P. Vargas joining you from Dep and Angeles City. Allow me to share my screen. Here we go. This will be very quick. Hold on. Eto na po. Here we go. What is installed for us today? Allow me to share this one. Okay, we'll have a recap. The review proper, which will be consist of the MAC test and the answer key, of course, with discussion. And of course, some reminders for all of us. Let's begin. Okay, last time we talked about the depth and vision, the mission, and of course, the core values. Maka Dios, maka tao, maka bayan, maka halikasan. And of course, we also talk about the direction and strategic priorities of the Department of Education. Okay, now, of course, the very essence of our review today, the MAC test. There will be 10 questions. Each question will be shown on the screen and will be read once. You will be given 45 seconds to read and answer. Timer will be used. Let's continue. Use the answer sheet provided. Blacken the circle of the correct answer. The key to correction will be given after all questions have been asked. The passing score is 70% and that is equivalent to seven points. Let's continue. Here is the answer sheet. I hope you did download this on our FB group and Chris Review Hub. Let us now begin. Okay, let me click my timer here. Mr. Ruru Madrid, the newly installed school head of Mapagumbaba Elementary School, plans to read and review the depth and vision, mission, and core values. Which depth and order must he use as reference? One, depth and order number 32, series 2013. Two, depth and order number 34, series 2013. Three, depth and order number 36, series 2013. Four, depth and order number 38, series 2013. A1, B2, C3, D4. A lot of time, guys. We're down with our last 10 seconds before we move on to our next question. And time is up. Let's move on to question number two. Here we go. Question number two. The grade nine students are currently using the newly constructed three-story 12 classroom building of Opagmahal High School. Each classroom has its own comfort room. In the first floor of the building is a ramp for learner with disability. Which part of the depth admission exemplifies it? One, students learn in a child-friendly, gender-sensitive, safe, motivating environment. Two, teachers facilitate learning and constantly nurture every learner. Three, administrators and staff as stewards of the institution ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. Four, family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged in their responsibility for developing lifelong learners. A4, B3, C2, D1. Oh, time is up, guys. Sorry. Okay. Number three. Which section, my timer here, in Article 2 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution expresses priority to education, science and technology, arts, culture and sports? 114, 215, 316, 417. A1, B2, C3, D17. A lot of time to answer, really. It's an easy question, actually. We're down with our last 10 seconds before we move on to question number four. Here we go. One, time is up. Question number four. The Department of Education states in its vision that it is a learner-centered public institution. Which of the instances do not support this? One, Deputy Order Number 31, Series 2012. Two, debit order number 40, series 2012. Three, debit order number seven, series 2021. Four, debit order number eight, series 2021. A, one and two. B, one and three. C, two and three. D, three and four. A lot of time. Down with our last 20 seconds. I hope you're having a good time. 
I know, I know it's really hot, it's summer, but of course let's have a bit of sacrifice as we all want you to pass the upcoming principles test. And time is up. Question number five. I already flashed this one, hmm, my apology. A part of the Department of Education mission says that family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged and share responsibility for developing lifelong learners. Which of the following school activities fully reflects this? One, crafting of enhanced school improvement plan. Two, validating school-based management. Three, overseeing construction of building. Four, conducting Brigada Escuela, A1, B2, C3, D4. Continue answering, guys. You have a lot of time. Do not worry. We will discuss the correct answers right after all questions have been asked. Okay, down. Wait one second. Time is up. Question number six. The core values, the core values of the Department of Education are Makadios, Makatao, Makabansa, and Makakalikasan. The core values are actually the national motto of the Philippine Republic. Which Republic Act accounts this? One, Republic Act 4670, two, Republic Act 8491, three, Republic Act 9184, four, Republic Act 9710, A1, B2, C3, D. Four, you have a lot of time to select the correct answer. Down with our last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Time is up. Question number seven. Miss Eugene Dumi. Ms. Eugene Domingo is a Filipino 10 teacher at Mahusay High School. In a class of 45, she observed that one of her students, Anne Curtis, speaks English daily for the whole period. Anne is a newly transferred student from our nearby private school. After the class, she privately explained to Anne the depth and core values. Which among the core values did she emphasize? One, Mahadios. Two, Mahatao. Three, Mahabayan. Four, Mahakalikasan. A1, B2, C3, D4, 10 seconds to go. Which is the correct answer? Four, three, two, and one. Time is up. Let's have the next question now. Question number eight. In section five of chapter one in Republic Act 9155, the governance of basic education recognizes that every unit in the education bureaucracy has a particular role, task, and responsibility inherent in the office and for which it is principally accountable for outcomes. Which principle is being emphasized? One, authority. Two, transparency. Three, accountability. Four, shared governance. A1, B2, C3, D4. It's an easy question though. We have last five seconds. Two, one, zero. Time is up. Question number nine. Which of the following statements reflect the mandate of the Department of Education? One, coordinates plans. Two, supervises projects. Three, formulates policies for implements programs a one two three b one two and four c one three and four and d one two three and four you have a lot of time to answer since i forgot to click my timer okay okay later on you'll find out what are the correct answers to these questions since we are moving to our last question for the day in our math test number two. Last 10 seconds. Ayan. Okay, we move on to our 10th question for today. Where does the governance of the basic education begin? One. National level, 
two, regional level, three, division level, four, school level. A1, B2, C3, D4. Your last 30 seconds. You have a lot of time to answer, guys. I hope you get seven on this math test number two. And you can also suggest other topics to be discussed in the coming videos, although I'm planning to discuss on omnibus rules and leaves, probably compensation benefits like that, salaries yeah, like that, and all other stuff related to the entitlement. The last five seconds. Three, two, one, zero. The correct answers are 1C, 2D, 3D, 4D, 5A. 6B, 7C, 8D, 9D, 10A. Here are the correct answers. Now let's discuss them one by one. Let's go to question number one. Okay. Oh, let's talk about this depth, this, this, this depth and orders here. Okay. Okay. Depth and order number 32 talks about religious rights of students. Depth and order number 34 talks about orthography and Filipino. Depth and order number 38, series 2013, this one talks about support funds to school implementing STE programs. So that 36 letter, uh, let number three is letter C. That is the correct answer now. Okay? You may download it and you can check it. Para sigurado, sigurado po kayo. Dep at order number 36, series 2013, letter C. Let's go to question number two. Oh, sabi rito, it has its own comfort room. It has a ramp with, for learner with disability. Which is the obvious answer here? Definitely, it's, question, it's number one. In a child-friendly, safe, and motivating environment, number one now is letter B. You might be confused, ha? Kala nyo, kasi pag number one, automatic letter A. Dito, number one, ginagay ko sa D. So the correct answer here is letter D. Okay? Question number three. We can argue. We cannot argue on this since it is reflected in the 1987 Philippine Constitution, Article 2. Okay, Declaration of State Policies and Principles. The correct answer is Section 17. That's four and letter D po yun dito. Okay, let's move on to question number four. Okay, sabi niya dito, which of the issuances, look, hinighlight ko na siya, do not support this. Alin ang do not support, alin yung this? Yung learner-centered public institution. The ito na number 31 is the policy implementation on grades 1 to 10 on basic education curriculum. So definitely, it's a yes, it's a check. Yung DepEd or number 40 series of 2012, child protection policy po yun. It's a learner-centered public institution. Check na naman yun. Yung number 3, DepEd or number 7 series 2021 is about multi-year guidelines on PBB. More on the benefits of the DepEd employees ito. So, X ito dito. Ang 4 naman, DepEd or number 8 series of 2021, it talks about the signatories in the administrative and financial matters in the Department of Education. So, X na naman ito. So, alin ang hindi nagsusupport ng learner-centered public institution? Directly. Three and four, yan. So the answer is letter D, okay? Number five. You might be confused here. Alin ba dito yung sinasabi ng mission of family, community, and other stakeholders are actively engaged in shared responsibility for developing lifelong learners. It speaks here of the shared governance, okay? Value school values management is not is not in, hindi siya. Kasi usually the SBM validation happens in the third quarter when people from the division, from the division office would come and validate our SBM. Tama po ba? Overseeing construction of building, the school head and the school property custodian. Conducting brigade escuela, well, the memorandum yan, every year may, mga, may theme yan and we conduct it. And actually, this is an annual activity which is included in AIP or Annual Improvement Plan, which is part of Crafting of Enhanced School Improvement Plan. So which is the correct answer? Number one, crafting of ESIP, Enhanced in School Improvement Plan. Number one, letter A. It's the time when we invite our teachers, our faculty, uh, yeah, through the faculty president or the PGPT through its president, the SSG-SPG through its president also. And of course, the LGU, we also invite them, especially kung mayroon sa barangay level yan, yung ating mga kagawad committee chairman on education. So in this case, we invite them in the school governance, no? in the school planning team to be part of crafting the ESIP. And that is the correct answer. Huwag kayong malilito doon, okay? Question number six. Let's see the correct answer here. Let's talk about the Republic Act. 
the national motto of the Philippine Republic is maka Diyos, maka tao, maka bansa, and maka kalikasan. And this has been adopted by the Department of Education as its core values. What Republic Act is that? Republic Act 4670 is about the Magna Carta for teachers. What Republic Act 9184 is about Government Procurement um, Reform Act. Republic Act 9017 is about uh, Magna Carta for women. Now, ito Republic Act 8491, number two, letter B yan, that is the correct answer, is the Flag and Heraldic Code of the Philippines. Please download that. It will also help you since you are public servants like me. No, It would help you a lot. Question number seven. Okay, very obvious naman ang sagot dito. Makabayan. It, it, it talks about the Filipino language here. So number three yan, letter C po yan. Kinausap ni Binibining Domingo ang kanyang mag-aaral na si Ann Cordes po tungkol doon sa makabayan bilang isa sa mga core values ng ating departamento. Ipinaliwanag niya na kalamalinang ang pambansang wika natin. At siya nila naman ay vested sa Article 14, Section 6 ng ating Constitution. Okay, let's continue. Question number eight. Okay, medyo nangarito ng konti kasi sabi rito, responsibility. Tapos sabi niya, accountable. Pwede mong sagot na accountability. But if you download Republic Act 91-55, and if you really read it, and if you read it, the correct answer here is shared governance. That's the principle. Okay? It's really four. So it's letter D for question number eight. Question number nine. Well, you go to depeda.gov.ph. Punta sa overview. Nandun yung deped vision, mission, core values, and mandate. Oh, one, two, three, four. Lahat yan ay mandato ng Departamento ng Kagawaran ng Edukasyon. So the correct answer here is letter D. Ito po yun. Okay? Number 10, where does the governance of basic education begin? Of course, obviously, at the national level. The regional, the division level, the school level, and the learning centers are part of what we call field offices. Again, the reference, Republic Act 9155. Download po niyo yan. So correct answer here is national level, letter A. Okay? Ayan po ang answer key uli. If you miss it, you may screenshot that. And again, pag hindi pa nag-subscribe, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, Hermes Vargas. To those who already subscribed, thank you very much. I truly appreciate that. Sana po yung mga nasa FB group natin ng Enquist Review Hub, 11,000 po tayo. Mag-subscribe naman kayo mga friends, okay? And of course, this review is totally free. But if you wish to voluntarily and willingly send your token of appreciation, of course, I will surely accept that. Here is my GCash number, 0927-585-7144. And of course, I'm accepting online review, 10 minimum to a maximum of 15 persons. If ever face-to-face -face is allowed, we shall conduct one. Just wait for further announcement, okay? So any topic you would like to suggest, please do so. Again, I'm planning to conduct a, a discussion on, on benefits, compensation, and uh, omnibus rules on leave. Okay, stay safe. God bless. Congratulations po uli sa inyo. And I hope you really had a good time in this particular topic. Take care. God bless po again. And until the next video, Thank you, everyone.